In this video, I'll show you how to connect a keyboard, an external keyboard to your iPad Air 6th generation. So there's two different ways on how this can be done. Some Bluetooth keyboards come with a USB dongle. If your keyboard has one of these dongle that you need to connect to the device that you're going to use the keyboard with, well, you'll need to connect it to the iPad, but the iPad has one USB type C port and most dongles are USB type A like this one. I'll put a link in the description towards a Apple USB type C to USB type A adapter that works very well if you want to adapt one of these keyboards. If your keyboard is using Bluetooth to connect to your iPad, it will be even easier, I think. So to do so, make sure that the keyboard is actually turned on and has uh, good batteries. This is obviously the first thing you need to check. So I'll turn on mine. And then we need to put the keyboard into pairing mode to be able to connect it to the iPad. Let me put the iPad in this small holder here. Okay, great. So to put this Logitech keyboard into pairing mode, you have three different devices you can pair it with. And I'll just keep press on one of these buttons so pairing mode can start. Okay, good. Now it's in pairing mode. Now, depending on which device you have, it may be different for you. Now on the iPad, you need to open the settings. You need to go and select Bluetooth. Once you click on Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on. And in this list over here, where you see other devices, you should see appearing your keyboard. If you didn't see anything appearing, just wait or simply turn your keyboard off and turn it back on again and start pairing the same process. Mine, I had to do this to finally see it appearing in this list. Once you see it, click on it. Wait a few seconds and you're going to have a number here displayed on the screen. You need to type this number on the keyboard itself. So over here we have six, zero, four, six, one, three. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, like in my case here. If it didn't work, just be patient, you'll be able to do it. You need to turn off Bluetooth, turn off your keyboard as well, turn on Bluetooth, turn your device and put it back into pairing mode. Here we go again, I'll click on my keyboard and now I have to enter this number again. Sometimes even if you do not enter the code correctly, start pressing the enter button or any other buttons to make the message with the, the number disappear and uh, your keyboard should connect. Once it's connected, over here you're going to see it. If you press the small i icon beside it, you can give it a new name. You can disconnect the keyboard or forget this device. If you click forget this device, you'll need to pair it again next time you want to use it with your um, iPad. So I don't suggest you click it unless you don't plan using it anymore. So right now the keyboard is connected. And another thing I want to show you is if you go into general over here and select keyboard, then hardware keyboard, you're going to have multiple options on how to customize the keyboard you just paired. So you'll have all the languages that you can use it with. You can add more, obviously. And check the other options as well. Auto capitalization, auto correction. Do you want shortcuts? Press this icon over here for emojis. And you also have modifier keys. So these are the keys that are on my keyboard. You see, let's say the cap lock key. I have it's over here, cap lock. Right now, if I press cap lock, well, it does cap lock. But if I click here, I can actually uh, modify what this key does. So I can choose other things. This keyboard is in English. So if you're trying to uh, use this keyboard with another language, well, obviously these will not work the same way. So this is just something to keep in mind. Some keyboards also have shortcuts. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Over here, this Logitech is pretty good since, as you see, the volume is changing, play, pause, 
and some other buttons are working perfectly with my iPad without me having to do anything additional. Thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, if you want to get one of these, I'll put a link in the description. Leave a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.